Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good. Guys, before I get into what I want to talk about, guys, smash the like button for me. Smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps my, you know, in the live stream, a really good live stream yesterday. I'm going to try to do one and again today, 8 p.m. UK time. Today, yesterday was a bit late. Bank holiday, though. Smash the like button for me, guys. I really appreciate it. All you guys watching my videos, re really smash that like button, please. If you can um, trying to get this camera rested yeah so smash the like button for me please guys I really appreciate I really appreciate all your support by you smashing the like button it really helps the algorithm it really helps it really helps my channel so I'd really appreciate if you smash that like button guys uh, it really helps get my it really helps my channel get out there so I'd really appreciate if all of you watching this video smash that like button let's get those likes as high as we can but yeah back onto the what I want to talk about so guys Jake Paul obviously beat Tyron Woodley yesterday. You know, a lot of people are doubting the fact that did, did Jake Paul win that fight? Did Tyron Woodley win that fight? Uh, a lot of people seem to think that Tyron Woodley won against Jake Paul. Um, I don't understand what you were watching. Like, to be honest, I don't see how Jake Paul didn't win that fight. I don't know how why people, just because a guy's walking forward and he's backing a guy up, that doesn't necessarily mean he won a fight. You know, Tyron Woodley was hardly throwing any punches. And just because of the fact that he staggered Jake Paul back onto the ropes doesn't mean he wins a fight. You do know that that was a moment of, of about 21 minutes, 24 minutes of action. So it was eight rounds, three minutes, three minute rounds, eight rounds and three minutes per round. That's 24 minutes. That's a moment in 24 minutes. What about the other 24 minutes? What about the other 23 something minutes? Like, Jake Paul clearly outlanded Tyron Woodley. Woodley was hardly throwing any punches. He was gun shy. You know, he was, you know, he was barely doing anything. You know, he, all he was doing was aggressive. Like, he was walking Jake Paul down. And Jake Paul was, uh, you know, definitely getting backed up. But you have to land. You have to throw punches to win. You have to land stuff. You know, you're not just going to win a fight by backing somebody up. What's that all about? That's not that's not winning a fight, is it? Is that is that how you win a fight now? So if a guy's backing somebody up, they win a fight. Come on. R nonsense. Clearly Jake Paul won that fight. Clearly and by the way, I'm not like a biggest Jake Paul fanboy or whatever. I'm just telling you the truth. Jake Paul won that fight. You know, you've got people like Clarissa Shields who's like for me I respect R Clarissa Shields so so what she's done in, in for female boxing and how great a fighter she is, that competitive drive. I think Clarissa Shields is great, great fighter. And I actually don't think she gets enough respect and enough credit for what she's done. She's an unbelievable fighter. But for her to come out and say that Tyron Woodley won that fight just because he was backing Jake Paul up, like, he didn't throw. He hardly threw any punches. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what, how people can say he won the fight. What? How? How can you win a fight like that? I don't understand. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But that definitely, to me, he didn't win that fight. Not at all. Not at all. He definitely didn't win that fight. Um, I felt, I felt, um, for me, Jake was a clear winner. You know, by the way, I wasn't like, you know, hugely, I was, you know, Jake's definitely improving. I still think he's got a long way to go before he fights any any top fighter but you know they're talking about is tony tommy fury next um i don't know whether it will be next personally i don't think so and from the way jake paul was talking in the press conference and the way jake paul was talking post fight i don't think it's next i i don't think to be honest with you i don't think jake paul can beat Tommy Fury, I think Tommy, Fu I don't know, having said that, you know, I'm not hugely impressed with what I've seen so far, but Tommy Fury, he still comes across as a more natural boxer than someone like Jake Paul, who, like I said, towards the back end of that fight was really struggling, um, in, in the sense that his technique started becoming very wild, um, he was throwing wild shots, um, and that, that usually happens, because what they say is that initially, when you're, when you're fresh, you can have that high guard and 
that great technique. But as soon as your body starts to get tired, your arms start to get tired, you know, your body starts to fatigue, you start to go back to type. And you start, go, you start to go back to what you actually are. And he was swinging wildly towards the end. If that was a proper boxer in there, Jake Paul would have been in, in big trouble. I actually said this when I did the post-fight reaction is that Tyrone Woodley was actually the one that was more composed. Like you didn't see Tyrone Wood Woodley swinging wildly or you could see he was fatiguing in the sense that he, the reason why he's swinging wildly because he's fatiguing. Tyrone Woodley was composed for the full eight rounds. He just didn't throw anything. He just didn't throw hardly any punches. But, you know, you could clearly see that who the fighter was in there. And that was Woodley. Woodley was very composed. You know, he was, you know, very calm, uh, even under pressure. Um, and, yeah, he never got hurt in the fight. Woodley was, Woodley, he just didn't throw. He just didn't throw. I don't know whether that was because he didn't have confidence. I, I don't know whether that he thought Jake might hurt him or maybe he felt a bit of, he felt Jake's power. I, I don't know, but he just didn't, he just was gun shy for me. He didn't throw enough. You don't win a fight just by backing somebody up. You know, so I, I, I don't, to be honest, nah, I, I don't see that. Um, I don't see that at all. Um, not at all for me. Uh, I thought, I thought Jake won that fight. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think uh, Tyron Woodley uh, won that. But I don't know. I'd love to know your opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think Tyron Woodley won that fight? I would love to. I'd love to know what you, what love to know what you make of that. Just because you're backing somebody up doesn't mean you win a fight. You know, but that's just my opinion. You know, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Guys, we will be going live later and we will discuss this in fully in full detail. You tell me what you guys thought uh, if you guys watched the fight. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Peace out. Make sure to smash that like button. I'd really appreciate if you smash that like button, guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.